Hey guys, welcome to Web Coding. So in this video, we are going to discuss another new question of my errors in string series that is minimum domino rotation for equal row. So in this question, we will be given a in a row of dominoes. We can consider uh, we will be given a row, row of dominoes where tops of i and bottom of i represent the top of top and the bottom half of the ith domino. So domino is something we can consider as a tile. It has two halves. First is the top top half, and then there is second half. So that is the bottom half okay so both the half contains a value range, ranging from 1 to 6 so a domino die structure is a tile with two numbers from 1 to 6 on one on each half of the tile all right now we may rotate the ith domino so that the tops of i and bottom of i swap, swap the value it means we can uh, rotate the domino so the bottom's value goes to the top and the top's value come to the bottom it means the values of top top half and the bottom half is uh, are swapped all right now we have to return the minimum number of rotations so that all the values in the top are same or all the values in the bottom are same we will be given let's say n dominoes all right all right we will be given n dominoes and we have to uh, make the top half of all the dominoes same or the bottom half of the all the dominoes as same all right so we have to return the minimum number of rotations now let's discuss what this says here i have made two I have made uh, top half and the bottom half of my dominoes. So here I can say I have five dominoes. This is my first dominoes at index zero. This is my second dominoes at index one. This is my third domino at index two. Fourth domino at index three. Fifth domino at index five. So this is the my first half of my uh, domino. I can say it as first half or the top half. This is my second half of my domino, which is the I can say bottom half. All right. Okay, so this value can range from 1 to 6. This also can range from 1 to 6. Okay, these values are also can range from 1 to 6. Okay, in all these uh, uh, halves, all right. I, I was supposed to call it a dice, but dice is something different. It's just a domino containing two halves. Okay, okay. So now here we have to, we can swap this value. It means if I swap this value, this 5 will come here or this 2 will come here. All right. So it will some it will it would somewhat look like this. If I swap this value, so my five will come here, and my two will come here. So it means I can swap this value. It means I can rotate this ith domino. All right. Now what do I have to do? We have to return the minimum number of rotation that we that I have to perform on each of these dominoes to make any row containing the all the same value, right? Like it means. If my top contains all the same value, I, I have to make my to top to contain all the same value and then I have to return uh, the minimum number of rotation or I have to make the bottom row, the bottom array containing the bottom half containing all the same value. It means if I want to make this two in all of my uh, arrays, right? If I make, if I want to make the all of the value in my top, same as let's say 2 if i want to make this values 2 so i have to make one swap here right that is this 0 and 2 this 1 and 2 i have to make one swap here that is between 3 and 2 right so minimum number of uh, swaps here is 2 to make this array to look like having all the same value it will now have all the same value if i swap this if i rotate this domino right so i have to return the number of rotation here i have to rotate one so this two come here here i have to rotate one so that this two come here and my top wave is containing top half is containing all the same values all right now or maybe i want to make it five right or i want to make my bottom value my bottom half as two containing two so i have to let's say that this i have to rotate this so this two comes here i have to rotate this so this two come here then I have to rotate this so that 2 come here. If I make my bottom half to contain all the 2's. If I want my bottom half to contain uh, all the 2 values. So I need then 3 rotation. This rotation. This rotation and this rotation. But I will be making my. So in this case I will be making my uh, top, top half to be 2. Because it needs minimum number of rotation. So I have to return those number of rotation. Or there can be another case also. First case was when. Either my uh, top half contain number 1. My number 1 was 2. 
or my bottom half contain number one, right? These were my two cases. Now the second, uh, now other two come, two cases come come into um, consideration. That is my first top half contain this file, or all the values in my bottom half contain this file. So if I swap this value, this five come here, but but it, there is no five here. So this this so it won't be able to uh, we won't be able to like rotate this we won't be able to achieve our combination of all the half in the top all the top half containing the same value we won't be able to do so so we will we won't just consider this case all right so it can be anything either i make my top half to be to be two or i make my bottom half to be two let's say let's say let's suppose let's suppose it was 5 and I want to make this 5 it was 5 okay or uh, it was 5 okay so if I want to if I wanted to and it is also 5 let's say this was also 5 let's say this is also a 5 okay now if i consider the case that i want to make all of the my all all the uh, values in my top half to be five so when i wanted to do so let me just make another domino array I'm just making shapes just like this. Okay. So let's suppose I want to make all of my top half value to be 5. Alright. And my uh, array somewhat look like this. So if I want to make it 5. Right. So now, uh, how many number of rotations do I need? If I want my top to be 5, then I have to swap this one rotation. I have to swap these numbers. Sorry, not this swap. I have to swap these numbers, two rotations. I have to swap these numbers, three rotations. Right. Now again, if I want to make my bottom of i to be 5, then now I, have, I will be needing another swap. I have to swap these two numbers rotation number one i have to swap these two it means i have to rotate this one this domino and rotate this domino also i will need need two rotations if i want to make my bottom of i i to contain the it means if i want my bottom of bottom half to contain all the five right then i will need two rotations so either i make my two either either i make my top to contain all the five and either I make my bottom half to contain the 5, right? So, but if I make my bottom half to contain 5, it will need 2 rotations only. And if I want my top half to contain 5, it will need 3 rotations. So, I will consider this, this one. Or can I, can I consider any other value that other than this 2 and 5? So, if I say, okay, let's consider this. Let's say, this is my only one. So, if I consider the case, if I consider the case where I want to make my first, that is my top half to contain the value 1. My top half to contain, all the top halves to contain only 1 and all the bottom half, right? Or maybe all the bottom half to contain only 1. So, if I consider these two values, num that is my 1 and 2. If I consider these two values, then only this, uh, this half of my 
ith domino that is my first domino so that is my second domino it index one so only this half first top half of my second domino contains one there is no other one in my other domino right so we cannot consider two and one right we cannot consider two and one which is not allowed all right or either if i say if i consider three or five is it allowed because three is only in this domino third domino so is it possible to make all the these values to be three no it's not right so we have to take into consider such values that are possible to be um, make that are possible to be make uh, like to be uh, up to avail right we have to consider such values that are possible to avail right because 2 is available here 5 is available here it means i can make these numbers to be 5 i can make this this numbers to be 2 all right because we can rotate if we rotate so we can get 2 or 5 all right okay so from now i will be uh, from here i i can see that i have to iterate over all the dominoes and then check which number and then uh, and then check if my swap is possible or not i am going to check if my top of i contain my i will fix two numbers first of all number one to which will be equal to my top of zero and my number two which will be equal to my bottom of zero okay I am going to consider these two numbers as my number which I want to make, uh, which I want to use. That is my if I if I want to make my top of top half to be number one, or I want to make my bottom half to be number one, or maybe the second case that can be there it is that I want my top half to be number two, or I want my bottom half to be number two. Right? So yeah, there are four cases. I select two number. I fix. I have fixed these two numbers, tops of i and bottoms of i. All right, top of zero and bottom of zero. That is my number one is top of zero. That is my two. So my number one is two. Number one is two, and number two is five. I have fixed these two number. All right. Now I am going to check for every domino. If it's possible to swap, then I am going to increase the count. Right. I am going to increase my number of rotations. I am going to rotation plus plus. And if it's not possible. I am going to check if my top of i contain my number one because I am going to have four counts here because there are four possible cases. Let's discuss how. Let me just erase all this. Okay, let's discuss now. My number one is two, my number two is five. I will be having four counts here. Count one will be the count that that says count one is the number of rotations that that I will be needing to make my top half to be number one okay count 2 is the number 2 that the that is the number of rotation if i want to make my bottom half to contain the number 1 that is my 2 all right count 3 is the number of rotation that i will be needing to make my top half to be number 2 number 2 and count 3 sorry count 4 will be the count count of, will be the number of rotation that i will be needing to make my uh, that I will be needing to make my bottom half to contain number 2. Alright. Okay. So, now here I am going to check if my uh, tops of i contain number 1. First of all, I am considering the case that I want to make my top half to contain number 1. So, if my top of i is, top of I is number 1, then I am going to do nothing. But if my bottom of i, here my top of i is equal to 1, so I am going to do nothing. Now here I come here, my index come here, it checks. Is my top of i equal to number 1? No. Then it is going to check. Is my bottom of i equal to number 1? Yes. So then what am I going to do? I am going to uh, rotate this uh, uh, domino, right? So I am going to do what? Rotate, 
rotation plus plus because I am going to rotate here. So I will be increasing a rotation. So I am going to rotate it. So it will become 2 here. Okay. So I have, let's suppose I have rotated this array. So it contains 2 now. Here I am having 2. Two here and up one here. All right, rotation is now equal to one. I come here, I check it. Let's say, let me just erase this. Let me make it two. Okay, I come here at this index. I check is my top of five is equal to number one? No, it's not equal to number one. Then I'm going to check my bottom of five. If it's equal to one, then I'm going to again increase my rotation plus plus. So my rotation is now two because I'm going to rotate this domino. If I rotate this, so this value come here, this value come here. Okay, so number now my number rota number of rotation till this index is two. Now again, let's say here is my top of five equal to my number? No, it's not. Then I'm going to increase my number of rotation. My number of rotation is three now. Okay, I have rotated this. This two come here, this five come here. Okay. Now is my top of five equal to two? Yes, it is equal to two. Then do nothing. So it means I needed three rotations. To make my num top of i, sorry, to make my top half to contain number one. Okay. Now discuss the case if I want to make my bottom half to be number one, to contain number one. Okay. Now initially my rotation is equal to zero, zero. Okay. So now I want my bottom half to contain my number one. So my initially my rotation is equal to equal to zero. I check is my bottom of is my top of i is equal to equal to number one yes it is equal to equal to number one then count plus plus sorry then rotation plus plus so rotation is one now because I am going to swap it swap these numbers right and if I am going to so swap this number it means I am going to perform a rotation if I perform a rotation then rotation plus plus all right so I am going to swap these two numbers now I will be containing 5 here and 2 here. Okay, 5 here and 2 here. Rotation is 1 now. I come at this index, I check. Is it equal, is, is my top of i equal to equal to, sorry, is my bottom of i is equal to equal to number 1? No, it's not. Then I check, is my top of i equal to number 1? Then I am again going to increase my count to 2. Okay, I am again going to swap. It will contain 2 now. Right, and this number will contain only one. It contains only one. Now I again I am again going to do what? I'm going to check on another index. If it's if if it is equal to my number one or not. So it is equal to my number one. No, it is not equal to that is a top of i. This value is not equal to my number one. Then what am I going to do? I am going to check. if my, Is my bottom of i equal to equal to my number 1? Yes, bottom of i is equal to equal to my number 1. So then do nothing. Then do nothing. Right? I come here. I check. Is my bottom of i equal to equal to number 1? Yes. Then do nothing. I check, come here. I check. Is my bottom of i equal to number 1? No, it's not. I am going to check. Is my top of i equal to number 1? Yes, it is. Then rotate. Rotation plus plus. Alright, so my rotation here is 3. Previous my, previously I had, I got 2 rotation to make my top of i as equal to equal to uh, 2, right? Because, yeah, here I had, uh, how many rotation did I have? They, here I got 3 rotations. Okay, here I got 3 rotation and previously I got 2 rotation. So I will consider these two rotation because if I made my uh, previous half to be sorry my top half to be uh, to contain number number one I needed only two, two rotation so I will return this answer. But this is my only the answer when I want to make my top half uh, as number one or my bottom half as number one. This is the minimum of both the answers. Now consider the case when I want to make my top half to contain number two which is which was five. Okay. My top half to contain number 2. Now, rotation is initially equal to 0. Number 2 is 5. 
let me just erase this okay okay let's consider the case when i want to make my top half to contain number 5 initially the number of rotation is 0 i check is my top of i is equal to equal to my number 2 yes it is equal to my number 2 then do nothing i come here i check is my top of i equal to number 2 no it's not then increase rotation so now rotation is 1 it means rotate so i rotate this and i want this to value i come here is my number equal to equal to number 2 sorry is my top of i is equal to equal to my number 2 no it's not then then swap and increase the rotation i come here is my top of i equal to number 1 then do nothing number 2 yes it is equal to number 2 then do nothing i come here is my top of i equal to number 2 no it's not then increase rotation to 3 so here i got 3 answer if i want to make my bottom half to contain 5 i will need uh, this i will need this much this swap i will need this swap I will need only two swaps. No, it means I will need only two rotation when I want to make my bottom of I as two. So my answer is going both in both cases. My answer was equal for this example only. It can be it can differ for uh, another ex example. All right, or maybe not. So my answer is two here. So I am going to uh, return this two. So I have discussed almost all the pseudo code. How are we going to solve this question? We'll be taking we'll be taking two numbers. That is my top of zero and my bottom of zero. As number one and number two and then we'll be taking four counts right which will keep a track of num rotation number of rotation that will be needing to make top of i is number one and or bottom of i is number one or top of i is number two and bottom of bottom half of as number two all right okay and then we, we are going to return the uh, minimum of both, both the counts okay so let's solve this first of all int count 1 which is equal to 0 count 2 which is equal to 0 count 3 which is initially equal to 0 and count 4 which is also equal to 0 now i will make two number number 1 which will be equal to my top of i top of i sorry tops of i it's tops of i and my number two to be bottoms of i number two equal to bottoms of i now i will run a for loop i will traverse for all the all the index that is my number of dominoes all right so it can be till tops dot length or it can be till bottom dot length because both the sides are equal i am going to check here for first of all count one that is the number of rotation count one is equal to number of let me write here rotation to make top containing top half containing number one Top half containing number one. That is my number. All right. And then I again write the comments for my count two, count three, and count four also. okay so count two is number of rotation to make bottom half containing number one bottom half containing number one and then top half containing number two my num count three is number of rotations will be needing to uh, make top half containing number two and number count four is equal to number of rotation to make bottom half containing number two bottom half containing num2 
okay so now let's write okay first of all let me initialize my count 1 2 i will check here if my count 1 is not equal to let me just initialize it to int of max okay if my count is not equal to min int of max then what am i going to do see here why am i making it uh, as in infinity count as my count one as my infinity why am i checking the condition suppose here if it were three and my number one are, and number two are two and five so if i this condition condition no not my top of five matches number one not my bottom of five matches number one so it means i am going to make i am going to assign such a value to my uh, count that is i am going to assign positive infinity to my count that that represent there is no such uh, combination or there is no possibility that the that top of i and bottom of i are going to contain the same value all right because i can make either this as 2 or this as 5 this as 2 or this as 2 or this as 5 or this as 5 if any one of them are containing 3 or different value other than 2 and 5 then it's not possible right so that that's why i'm going to assign my count the value infinity so infinity represent that it's not possible right there is no possibility to make top top half and bottom half to contain the same value so i'm going to check here if if my top of i is equal to equal to my uh, number one then do nothing right else if my bottom of i is equal to equal to number one then rotate increase the rotation that is my count bottom of i is equal to equal to number one then increase the count one plus plus then count one plus plus all right otherwise else now my bottom of i is equal to number one or now my bot top of i is equal to number one then do what then make the count one as int max sorry integer dot max integer dot max value value so we have integer dot max value in integer underscore max value in java okay similar for count two but it is we are for here we are going to check for bottom of i so if count of one is not equal to integer dot max value and top of i bot sorry bottom of i if bottom of i is equal to equal to number one then do nothing else if tops of i tops of i let me just apply s here append s here s s s okay then do what increase count plus plus otherwise make sorry it will be count two here because count two represent the bottom okay similar for for number two so if my count three represent my number two okay so if my top of i is equal to equal to my number two then increase then do nothing or if my bottom of i is equal to equal to number two then increase the count three as make count three to be contained integer dot max value all right and now for bottom of i now for bottom containing number two so if bottom of i is equal to equal to number two uh, else if top of i is equal to equal to number two tops of i is equal to equal to number two tops of i And it is count four. Okay, so count four represent the uh, number of rotation to make the bottom half containing number two. So if bottom of i is equal to equal to number two, then do nothing. Otherwise, if top of i contains number two, then rotate. Right? Then increase count four. Otherwise, make count four to integer dot max value. All right. Now, what do we have to do here? We have to make an answer. Int answer is equal to math dot min of see here what will be my answer my answer will be min of these numbers 
that is why these are my number count one and count two because I make my top one or bottom one to be number one, right? So count one and count two, minimum of both these two numbers and minimum of this both these two numbers. That is my count three and count four to make my bot top half to contain number two or my bottom half to contain number two. All right? Okay. So here my answer will be math dot min of math dot min of count one count two count one count two right and math dot min of count three count four count three count four right and then return answer okay math dot min of count one count two and math dot min of count three count four and return the answer if bottom of five is equal to equal to num two then do nothing okay now let's i think i should run this it should be tops of zero okay now let's try to run this code mm, bottoms bottoms tops of five um okay it is number one At line 27, if tops of i is equal to number 1, okay, it should be a parenthesis here and a parenthesis here also and a parenthesis here at line 38 and here also. Okay, now let's try to run this code. Tops, okay, it should be tops. bottoms 38 it's bottoms okay count one count it's count three okay successful and now let's try to submit this mm, there is some test case failing Let's see what's wrong with the test case. 5351234. Okay, output that text. Okay, we have to return minus 1. Otherwise, I am going to check here the condition. If my, uh, yeah, there can be condition when do, we do not get any answer. So, I am going to check the condition. Return answer is equal to equal to. integer dot max if it's not equal to infinity then we have to return the answer otherwise we have to return minus one so if answer is not is equal to equal to infinity then return minus one otherwise return my answer all right okay now let's try to run this integer dot mx capital x Okay, successful. Now let's try to submit this. Submit it. So I hope I was able to make it clear to you guys. I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, please like, share and comment. And thanks for watching.